I am here with uh, the man of the hour, the Lifetime Achievement Award winner, uh, Wayward Bill, head of the, uh, chairman of the U.S. Marijuana Party and uh, one of our national treasures in the world of activism. How are you, Bill? I'm doing good today. I'm not a very, very happy guy. <laughs> Other than a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. Look at this. Lifetime, lifetime achievement. Wow, it's pretty impressive. That's awesome. So what does one do? Did you, be, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, did you beat out Willie Nelson to get that award? I beat out Willie Nelson, Snoop Dogg, Ron Campy of MPP, uh, and several other, oh, Keith Straub. <laughs> wow, wow. That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty big honor. Yes, it is. I, I, I think you know what your Christmas card's going to be this year, right? Uh, you you holding the award, right. send that to all those guys. Right. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you could have had this. <laughs> so, uh, talk a little about yourself, about your history. Uh, what led you to this point of winning this Lifetime Achievement Award? I, I know you've been a staple on the Colorado pod scene for as long as I've been coming to Colorado, which is not, not even that long, but... Uh, it's a strange thing. I used to be into everything. The environment, you know, Greenpeace, uh, you name it. I, I was out there for all of them. I worked for the ACLU, volunteering as, as a paralegal. I was at, working with Mason at, 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 at Safer and that. And uh, I had always been at for marijuana. You know, like I said up on stage, I heard John Sinclair speak when I was 17 years old. And, and got hooked on, you know, his theory of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and and and, and the white youth rising up to power, and, and, and marijuana. But I, I've been a, an activist since basically at 17 years old. I I joined the White Panther Party. Then I was sent to Chicago in '68 and saw firsthand what what Richard Daley and the Democratic Party did to to, to Vietnam War protesters. But I also heard John Sinclair speak and it, it got me into into to believing that I could do that uh, like I said I was going along you know 2008 came along I had my finger in every pie and every activity you know activist wise and I had an epiphany that I had to choose one thing that I thought I could accomplish within my lifetime and I chose cannabis well, that's, uh, that's smart and a heavy decision and a heavy commitment, I should say. Um, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, yes, it is. And I, I've worked hard. I'm everywhere, like I said. You know, you name it. I've been to the... I was at the hearing with uh, Michael Kravitz for the ASA when they would tried to strike it down in D.C. I've been... I've, I've, I've led a, a, a funeral procession for marijuana prohibition down Bourbon Street. I've, uh, <laughs> I've been everywhere. And I'm at, I'm everywhere at, at everything in Colorado. You know, I'm in the state legislature. I'm in city council. There's not too many of you old school dyed in the wool activists out there anymore. That I think of like some people like you know um, Steve Hager. I think of uh, um, Dana and, and um, uh, Dana Beal. Right. I think of David Peel. I think of like just people who have just been out there doing this since the 60s, since the, you know, 50s, the 70s, you know, like, part of the culture, you know, embodying the culture and fighting for the culture. John Sinclair, of course, right. another one, yeah. And, and it's amazing how many are still around, Yeah. you know, that, that, but a lot of them have passed and a lot of them are still locked up. <laughs> Well, uh, I just want to say congratulations, Bill. Well deserved. Nice to see you uh, receiving some accolades for all your hard work. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you here again next year. I hope you have a great holiday, sir. Thank you. And uh, everybody, Peace Pod Politics or Puff Puff Pass. <laughs> <laughs>